The round of 16 races will be taking place at Darlington, Kansas, and Bristol. So now it's time to predict who makes it into the round of 12 and who unfortunately gets eliminated. So my eliminations for the round of 16 will be Tyler Reddick, Michael McDowell, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., and Bubba Wallace. I don't think these guys will be consistent enough or be able to run up front enough to be able to make it into the round of 12. However, I do think guys like Kevin Harvick and Joey Logano will barely scrape their way in as they haven't really been contenders for the points lead this season and they haven't really been up front too much. The round of 12 races will be at Texas, Talladega, and the Charlotte Rural. Now, we're going to predict the round of who's going to make the round of 8 and who's going to miss. The drivers that I have that are not going to make the round of 8 are Ross Chastain, Joey Logano, Ryan Blaney, and finally, Kevin Harvick. These guys haven't really been able to compete for like wins. I mean, and Ross Chastain, to keep in mind, had a bad summer, so momentum won't be on the side and due to playoffs. I'm also confident that both RFK cars can make it into the round of eight because I feel like momentum is on their side and they've really been picking up the pace throughout the season. The round of eight races will be held at Las Vegas, Homestead Miami, and Martinsville. Now, we're going to predict the clear favorites to make it to the championship four and who's going to be out of the round of eight. For me, the clear favorites I have for the championship four are William Byron, Martin Truex Jr., and Denny Hamlin. E e during the summer, those three have been probably the best and especially throughout the season, these guys have really stood out from the rest of the field. So now there's only one spot to determine due to the championship four. It was a very close decision, but my final decision on who will make the championship four will be Kyle Larson. For the eliminated playoff drivers, I feel like Chris Busch will barely miss out on the championship four chance. Kyle Busch doesn't really have much consistency lately. Christopher Bell has not been that fast on pace and has only been able to compete up front for wins lately. And Brad Keselowski doesn't really have a win and the limited amount of points he has in the playoffs will not help him make the championship four. The championship race will take place at Phoenix Raceway slash i Raceway. And now we have to decide who the champion will be. For this race, I think it will be down to only two drivers. And those would be William Byron and Martin Truex Jr. I've, even though Larson did finish P4, I don't feel like he will compete for it. And then Denny, I don't really know if he can, can compete for it. And Byron and Truex Jr. have been probably the two best all season long, in my opinion. So, my pick for the championship will be... Martin Truex Jr. I was looking at some statistics on the short track, flat track oval races this season, and Martin Truex Jr. had the better finishes, but it's important to also consider that William Byron did win out of Phoenix, but I still pick Martin Truex Jr.